A family mourning the death of their mother says a nursing home kicked their mom out and in their words, discarded her like a piece of trash. Good evening, everybody. I'm Trisha Keen. I'm Ty Quinones. As 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears shows you, the family claims when the money ran out, so did the human decency. Loved ones say Alice Patterson lived her life with dignity. A devoted military spouse and mother, she spent most of her life putting others first. My mother um, was loved by everyone who knew her, <laughs> everyone that worked with her, they adored her. I, I don't know what kind of magical potion she, she worked up, but she was just a, a really super nice, um, um, likable individual. As she got older, Alice's health began to decline. After a bad fall, hip surgery, and a subsequent stroke, the Mesquite resident went to skilled nursing center Highland Manor for rehabilitation. But when the 93-year-old's health insurance lapsed... They put her out on the curb like trash. Somebody else come pick this up, please. We don't want it anymore. State and court records show Highland Manor staff took the frail and confused woman home and left her here at her apartment alone. I mean, I'm trying to picture in my mind what the scene was like bringing her to her apartment. It's not as though she got out of a car and walked. Attorney Matthew Hoffman represents the family in their ongoing lawsuit against Highland Manor, alleging elder abuse, neglect, and abandonment. They would have had to have physically carried her to the apartment and, and, and abandoned her. And that's what's so troubling. She could not lift her torso off the pillow without assistance. Now, how was she going to get in a wheelchair and do anything on her own? She could not. And they knew that. This, these Highland Manor people knew that. With a full-time job and a disabled husband, Linda had been unable to provide the 24-hour care her mother needed. I don't think that anybody wants to see facilities saying time's up and nobody knows about it and this helpless individual is just left in, you know, on their own. The Nevada Department of Health and Human Services investigated Linda's complaint and confirmed her mother's discharge was unsafe. A licensed social worker and a registered nurse both admitted to state investigators that Alice needed help 24-7 and her discharge was not safe with her poor cognitive status. Um, I don't think any facility wants a report like this uh, to be, you know, public record. Highland Manor certainly did not want to talk publicly about Alice's case or anything else we uncovered. In response to our request for an on-camera interview, the administrator sent an email saying no one could comment about the issue we're investigating. They didn't care about her. They did not care. They did not care. All they cared about was we're not getting money now. She's got to go. Linda only found out her mother was home when a neighbor called her after going to check on Alice, but getting no answer at the door. I, when I went in to look at my mom, you may have to remember she'd been there for two days. She found her mother disoriented, dehydrated, and lying in her own excrement, having been unable to change the adult diaper she was left in when Highland Manor left her. Linda called for an ambulance, and three weeks later, then I got the call. Sorry to tell you, your mother has passed away. There is a system in place to help people in Alice's predicament. They're called long-term care ombudsman. So we advocate for anybody in long-term care. As of 2016, federal law requires all nursing facilities nationwide to send discharge notices to state long-term care ombudsmen. Highland Manor was also required to provide 30 days notice to Alice, but there's nothing in state records to indicate that was done. In fact, the state found they failed to even notify Alice's doctor. I, I have limited information on, on the situation um, and it's sad, it's frustrating. Um, and I'm not saying that we can work miracles or, or, or you know, solve all the problems, but we may have been able to step in and say, okay, this doesn't sound like a safe 
discharge plan for this individual. State records from 2018 and 2019 show a history of violations at Highland Manor. Multiple failures of patient care, including doctor's orders not followed, care plans not implemented, and bed sores not treated. Each time the facility was cited, they simply had to submit a plan of correction. But they shouldn't be allowed to do that. And they shouldn't be in business if they're going to do that. It's not care they're providing. We also discovered two prior lawsuits that allege abuse and neglect resulting in death. This 2011 case was filed by the family of an 86-year-old Highland Manor resident who cut his face after a fall onto the floor and was left unattended for so long the blood dried. After emergency transfer, hospital staff discovered a fractured cheek and brain bleed. Within five days, the man died from his injuries. The case settled out of court for an undisclosed amount. Alice's case is now in arbitration. As for the state, despite finding violations of federal law, no fines were imposed. The only accountability, a plan of correction to address the documented deficiencies. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.